hey guys welcome back welcome back we are going to be looking at to solve a uh, partial differential equation by method of direct integration so now this is one of the simplest method just like if you can remember our ode we also we can also solve ODE, it's ODE is too by direct integration this is just basically integrating in, integrating in partial differential equation given directly without any just integrating it and applying the conditions so now um when you are you'll be asked to solve a partial differential equation and when you know how when you are to use by direct integration method the partial differential equation will be given boundary will be given conditions when the says the says that when s equals to zero when a particular variable is equal to zero the dependent variable will be given as this and when du dx that is differentiating that um, partial differential equation in question will be given as a function of the other variable now this u is a function of t when s equals to zero and u dx is a function of t2 so now um we so can solve by partial differential equation we are giving the, the the PD in question, for example, no, this is double prime meaning um, um second order differential equation of a particular function of the independent independent variable, it can be x or t or can be x or, or can be both, is given as a function of x and t. This is the um, the derivative, the second order derivative of two or both or one. The um, independent variable will be equal to a function of to the two independent variables, so we can apply um, we can apply direct integration. So I'm going to explain it again. I said the function of two the the derivative of the function of two um, the derivative of the function of two um, independent variables, just like x and t, will be is equal when when is equal to the function of that same independent variable. We can apply direct integration. So just like we have this the derivative of this is an, an independent variable of x. Like I said, it can be two or both. It can be both independent variable or it can be one independent variable is equal to twelve x squared plus t squared. So now this is a function of x, both x and t squared. So now we can apply direct integration. So now the first thing you do now is to look at your condition. So you are giving du dx is equal to sine t. So this du dx was gotten from integrating this t square u over the x so remember when i integrate a derivative it reduces the order of the derivative reduces so when i integrate d square u over the x square i'm going to be having this right so integrating integrating d square u over the x square right i'm going to be having d u dx right so integrating this also let me integrate this what, what will i have um this we are integrating with respect to x right so now for example let me let me explain something i said when you are integrating with respect to a particular function for example you are having a function of a function u that is a function of x and y so if i'm integrating with respect if i'm integrating u with respect to x right y will be assumed to be constant and any constant i introduce after the integration will be a function of will be will, any constant i introduce after the integration will be a function of y so now, since I'm integrating with respect to x and I'm having a, another function t, the constant I get after integrating this will be a function of t. So integrating this now, so this is x, x over 3 over 3 times lt plus 1 equals this. So now you're having du dx as equal to 4x raised power 3, t plus 1 plus file of function of t. Remember, they said du dx is equal to sine t, right? Of course, let's... Let's integrate it again, right? Then we apply the first condition and we apply the second condition. So now, integrating this again now, remember when I integrate du dx, I'm going to be having u, right? Integrating du with respect to x. If I multiply this by, if I take the x here now, that means I'm going to be left with what? u, right? So u, which is a function of x, right? Integrating du with respect to x. So I'm only going to be integrating this one, which is 4x to the power 4 over 4, right? t plus 1 plus Remember, we are integrating a constant t, right? A constant which is a function of t, right? So if I integrate a constant which is a function of t, I'm going to also I'm going to assign the variable I'm integrating with it to it. Right? So just like when I'm integrating three, integrating three, of let it what three x, right? Integrating this this is a constant, right? I'm going to assign I'm going to ass, I'm going to assign the, the integrating function and the function I'm integrating with. So this is q pi. This is phi t x, right? Then plus the second constant I get after integrating it, uh, let me call it um, theta, 
which is a, also a function of what t right so now we apply my condition so the condition the first condition says when x is equal to zero u is equal to cos t so now we're going to put it this when x is equal to zero u is equal to cos t so now anyway i see x i put zero right So now putting x is equal to zero to inside in putting x is equal to zero inside the equation. So this is my u is now be equal to zero times t plus one plus zero plus phi t, right? So I have u is equal to phi t. And my u is what? Cos t is equal to what? Phi t. So I've gotten the value for my second constant. So my phi t is equal to cos t. I've gotten the value for my second constant. So now let's apply my second condition, which says when u is equal to when du dx is equal to sine t, x is equal to zero, right? So now we go back to the the first um, um integration, the first um, integration I did, which which was finding du dx. And uh, remember we had four x raised power three t plus one plus phi t. So now let's go back to that one. So we have we have we are having du dx is equal to four x raised power three t plus one plus 5t right so now it says when s equal to 0 right remember this says when s equals to 0 u is equal to cos t and du dx is equal to sin t so when x is equal to 0 putting x equal to 0 here yeah, all this becomes 0 right so this is only left with what 5t and du dx is equal to what sin t so i've also gotten the value for my first constant i've gotten the value for my second constant so now you put them back into your general um, P, um, equation you are trying to look for. So and remember, general equation says u from where we integrated it, right? Remember, general equation always says u is equal to a function of the independent variables as much as they are that you are looking for. This is the general solution to a particular PDE. So now I'm going to be expressing u, which is my dependent variable, as a function of the independent variable I'm given. Now remember, the independent variable you are given in this solution is x and t. So u will be equal to what? This right? X raised to the power four t plus one. Remember four cancel four right? T plus one plus phi t, which is a function of uh, uh, t times x plus theta t. Remember we've gotten the value for phi t right? So we're having x raised to the power four t plus one plus phi t, which is sine t right? So we'll be having x sine t plus theta t, which is what cos t. So this is the solution to my PD by direct integration. So it's um, this is one of the simplest method for solving um, PD. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video.